So I know what you think. How's this man's beard so perfect? But aside from the perfection of my beard, Zodiac might just be the best deck this format. Go second Zodiac is insane. And I'm gonna showcase exactly why. It destroys every deck this meta, except Angela, and just obliterates everything. So if you guys are hyped for this video, I want you to smash the subscribe button. It's time to avenge Zodiac Dryden. Make sure to go to TripGaming.com. Get your beautiful Celine playmats before they sell out. There's like five left. Get yours right now. And let's just start this video. Thank you guys for showcase just how good this deck is against tri brigade so if you guys look at the, so i'm facing gary gamer here but you know he's an avid doing player has over 1000 rating over 25,000 experience and i'm gonna clap them cheeks real fast look at my hand every zodiac hand looks like this the reason why zodiac is so powerful is you have to go second everyone wants to go first obviously what Try bringing wants to go first, put up their solid one and a half negates. Let them go first, let them do that. Let them put up their one and a half negates. Every hand trap in his hand will be useless. What are you ashing? Are you really gonna ash my Thoro Blade effect? You can do as you please with your Thor with your Ash Blossom. Desires, go ahead, drop some more hand traps. Oh, he drew an Imperm and a Cosmic Cyclone. Oh God, I might just cry. No, look at my hand, bro. The idea behind Ghost Second Zodiac is you don't want to play bullshit hand traps. In my top five video, I kind of smoke screen that I was gonna play hand, tra hand traps are shit. Don't play hand traps. Play blowout cards like Lightning Storm. Play cards like Chalice. Chalice alone shuts down this entire Zodiac deck. I mean, this entire Tri Brigade deck. You just hit them with the Revolt. So he opts not to go to re for Revolt here because he had Appalooza. Look at this. He has Ash, Imperm, Cosmic. He has uh, double Dragon Lords, four interruptions, double Appalooza, six interruptions here. Lightning Storm? Response? Uh, no. I get rid of all the monsters. I assume there's a Tri Brigade Revolt here. I assume there's a Tri Brigade Revolt. So I just save my Chalice for the Revolt. I get rid of his monsters, and I save the Chalice for the Revolt. He doesn't even have a Revolt. I blow his board into Smithereens. Chains Imperm, no problem. Cl chain Zeus, get rid of them all. His whole board is gone. Set Chalice and Imperm, pass. And I set another for good riddance, just in case. Cosmic, summon, nope, negate. That's why this deck is so powerful. There's nothing you can do against it. That Ash Blossom sticking to a sound for the whole duel. And every single card in this deck is defensive. You play 14, uh, you play 11 Zodiacs, or 10, 11, 12 Zodiacs, three Desires, 25 defensive cards that are blowouts this format. So we're gonna go to game two over here. And the idea of it is uh, every hand trap's useless. Ghost spells useless, Skullmeister's useless, they're all useless. My opponent lets, makes me go first, and this is where you get them. You're gonna think, oh, well, hey, I'll just make uh, Zuya go first, pull side deck. That's where you get it. You side into 15 traps. That's where you big brain their ass and side into 15 trap cards. So, what happens here? All right. You know, I don't have many trap cards. I open double desires, a duster. I save the duster. It's probably the only go second spell I kept. I have ice prison and chalice. I'm gonna have a best finale to deal with. We're fine. We're in a good scenario here. Nice Ash Blossom. Hand traps suck. He has two cards that are useless here. He has all got to do it in his hands. Get rid of the one rescue cat. So on the summon, Chalice. GG. GG. I'm going to activate Desires number two. And then try and draw into some more cards here. I draw more Zodiacs. He ashes. Now I'm like, sure, bud. No problem. Next, I'm going to go Duster. Get rid of that. Cosmic. He gets rid of my Ice Prison. Nothing I can do. Summon Vespinato. Attack, attack, attack. I put a Zeus on the Vespinato on the Monster Zone. That'll summon the following turn. That's it. What can he do? Reboot, tanky, nerval, there's nothing he can do. And the next turn, because he's under 3,000 attack, I kill him. The idea behind it is you want to pressure it to put him, do 5,000 damage on him as soon as possible and get him from 8,000 to 5,000 down to 3,000. That means that all you need is for one Zeus to survive. So now anything he does, I'm just going to Zeus away. And then nothing you can do. Summon, I Zeus, can't even summon his Keras, and that's game. He asked for a rematch here. I don't know why he has for a rematch when Zodiacs absolutely obliterate Tri Brigade. He's going first here. He has a hand of Valor Gamma Imprint. Is this not like the best possible Tri Brigade hand you could think of? Like you have Fractal, 
Fractal, Gamma, Imperm, Valor, and a random Tri Brigade, which you're going to need for Keras later when he draws. So this is probably like the best possible scenario for him. He goes Ferjit, he summons the Fractal from hand, he brings out Bear Brom, he's going to go off here, Double Dragon Lords, Appaloosa, uh, he's going to go off. I think that was probably, he made, oh sorry, a Lambda for his Gamma. He has a Lambda, uh, a Double Dragon Lord, Gamma, Valor, Imperm, Revolt, you might as well cap the Valor. And he's gonna just set two. Boom, he has two traps. All right, sure, Duster. He's obviously gonna chain the revolt here. No problem. He's gonna get out some free pluses. Let him get all the pluses he wants. I know he has a gamma in hand, that's for sure. There's no way he's gonna bluff that. So what am I gonna do here? I go Talents, because he just activated a, a trap. Talents is insane in this format. Every meta deck, Talents is usable against goes, going second. Uh, I get rid of the gamma in his hand. I Desires, look at my hand. He could have had more back row if he had a Solemn Judgment or something. I have Twisters. Uh, double Dragon Lord is the only card that's an issue. I know he only has Karras in hand. Obviously, I'm going to Chalice the Double Dragon Lord right away. Thorough Blade. I saved this Thorough Blade in my hand. I don't need to get the extra draw. What do I need to Thorough Blade? Send Thorough Blade, draw another. I want to save this Thorough Blade for the following turn. So after I clear his entire board, he's going to have a Karras and a random, maybe like a Nerval that he has from Omen. And then I'm going to have a three material Zeus as well as a Chalice, which is plenty enough to stop him. And then I OTK him in my turn with the Zeus at 3000 attack and my Thorough Blade. That's why you need to make Zeus with five material. I understand Dryden, you can't go six material Zeus anymore, but it doesn't matter. Because on your turn, you're going to so have five material Zeus. Make it, uh, so five material Zeus, you're going to get rid of two card, two cards to destroy his Keras, two cards to destroy his Nerval. Then you're going to go into another Zeus over here to destroy that Zodiac deck, Tri Brigade deck, because Tri Brigade's ass and Zodiac best deck after Pendulum. I'm going to set my Chalice. He has Gamma. Nothing I'm going to do is going to play into a Gamma here. He's going to go, uh, in fact, I Chalice. He goes Almirage, trying to get a search. I'm like, go for it, bro. He goes Fractal. If he attempts to do anything, I just Zeus. He passes turn, hoping I know it doesn't have a Zodiac. Obviously, I do. Thorough Blade, Chaka 9, Vespinado. G to the fucking G, baby. We're going to go game two now. Well, game four. We're at this 3 0 so far for the best deck. After Pendulum, he makes me go first. As I told you guys, side into trap cards. I have Strike, uh, Droplets, Ice Prison. This is because of post side deck. You side out the power spells that are only going second, and you put in power traps. Solemn Strike, Ice Prison, Anti Spell. And Anti Spell and Zodiac is ridiculous. They set all their good spells, you Zeus their ass on their on your, uh, your turn. Look at this. So that's it. What are you doing? Bro, what is. They're making you go first. Do you remember back when Yu-Gi-Oh, when they would make every trap deck that goes second, they just auto lose because they're going second and they can't set traps? Well, you have 25 traps now because 15 of them are quick play spells. So what is our, what are they going to do to a Vespinato with five traps on this Vespinato playing around, uh, playing around Zeus, that's why, uh, Nibiru. That's why you got to go with exactly four summons. And then you just go into a Zeus on your turn. So you have four material Zeus with five traps. There's nothing you can do. This duel's over. It's been over before he even drew a card. So he's going to go Keras here. Adds Fractal. I might go off. Ice Prison. Goodbye. Have a good one. Have a nice life. He sets a Revolt. Oh, Revolt. So scary. Normal Summon. I'm going to attack. He's thinking on the Summon. He goes Contact C. I strike the Contact C because I don't have any Link monsters in here. And I really want to go into a Zeus. I could have... Maybe uh, that, yeah, I could have chalice it perhaps, but it's fine. I just wanted that shit off my field. Vespinato attack him for a lot. Solemn judgment, the revolt, and I'm gonna have four material Zeus with a big Vespinato and a chalice, and just in case. And, and I set a droplets as well because it was still main phase when he activated it. So he's gonna have gamma, ash, fractal, nerval. This is why this deck is so good. It obliterates this meta. He stood no chance at the beginning. I was in control for this entire duel. He's exactly at 3,000. This is a cool thing about going first. You attack with double Vespinato, puts him at 3,000 exactly. I could have even chalk a nine if I activated, uh, if I got rid of any cards, but I can't because nothing in the graveyard. So all I need is Zeus to survive, and I just poke for 3K. Uh, there's nothing he can do. He tries the normal summon. I chalice. There's nothing he can do here. He just plays around a bit. He buys Zeus's, and then there's nothing he can do. GG. Pleasure dueling against Gary Gamer. But at the end of the day, Zodiac just obliterates Tri Brigade, obliterates Drytron because you play 26 go second spells. And I'm going to show you guys a deck list right now. This deck is absolutely bananas. I organize it in a way that I like. I think it's easier for you to side deck out on Dueling Book like this. You see it clearly. 
So over here, we're playing 12 Zodiacs. I go in and out with 10 to 12 is a good number. You don't want to open multiples, but if you open multiples, you just Thorough Blade it away. Whiptail is the best one after Thorough Blade because Whiptail allows you to get a six material Zeus by you putting Whiptail underneath the Zodiac XYZ before you do it. And going second, that's important because going second, instead of wasting your Zeus effect to get rid of the field, sometimes adding an extra Whiptail with Tanky or what, whether it itself banishes the card. So you have a 2800 attack uh, Zodiac Borbo destroy the issue banish it get rid of the window get rid of whatever and then or get rid of whatever you're, you're scared of an appalooza a negate that you dark roll it or something like that and then you get six material zeus you don't play three tanky because tanky literally equals the exact same as every zodiac monster so why risk just drawing you're going second with six cards you're playing draw cards and desires and talents why just draw two tanky there's no point you don't gain anything from it if you get a second zodiac however you throw a blade to get rid of the extra and sometimes Tanky can stop clog for Lightning Storm. So it, two is fine. And then you play three Desires. You really play 15. You play 18 starters. 12 Zodiacs. Three Desires, three Talents. Going second, Talents is absolutely a Desires. Going second, if you're playing Go Second deck, Talents is the best card in this entire deck. Because you get to either look at their Hand Trap, steal and a Negate, steal their Dragoon, pop their field, or draw two. It's ridiculous how good this card is going second. So you have these 18 starters, and then you play the defensive cards of Imperm, Chalice, Droplets, Mystic Mind, which game one is an auto win, Dark Ruler, and then you gotta you gotta respect the back row decks. Lightning Storm could kill Link Monsters and Monsters, Twin Twister and Duster for back row, and against any deck, you're safe. This is the side deck where you put in 13 trap cards for 13 go second spells. Always keep desires and talents. And you just get it's an exact perfect number 13 traps for three mine three uh, dark ruler three lightning storm three twin twister that's 12 and one duster that's 13. you remove those 13 go second spells for these 13 traps and they're deadly these traps they're deadly they're the best traps in Yu-Gi-Oh. there's no reason for macrocosmos or d fisher the reason i'm saying this yes those cards are insane those cards are ridiculous they're, they're crazy to resolve but the way this deck is built and the way it is, it ends up getting like turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six, turn seven. I don't want to draw fucking deep fissure on turn six. I don't want to draw deep fissure on turn three. Every one of these traps are good at all times. And even anti-spell. Anti-spell just means any spell they top deck or are saving, they just can't use. So every one of these are good, whether it's turn one or turn seven. This is what I love about this deck. Same goes for the main deck. Barrage Blast, for those who don't know what it, what it does, it gives it makes Ves, it makes a turn one play pop three cards from Vespinato and also play one reboot one Dino Rustler and that's it that's the deck and no links you don't need it if they contact see you you don't give a fuck you have so many ways to get rid of it and uh, playing one Ausa for a contact C is, is worthy but this like you literally there are games uh, grind games where you end up with like like one extra deck card left with all of these you use them quite a lot. This is the deck. I fucking love this deck. Uh, I, I love it. I played Sky Striker Zodiac for the for the LCS. Uh, the, the Sky Striker version was cool, but I was missing Zodiac cards way too much. There's way better pure Zodiac like this. If you're going to play pure Zodiac, this is the best way to play it. You could go unrated right now, play pure Zodiac, and then just win your next 10 if you face 10 meta decks. The worst matchup for this deck is decks like Sky Striker or decks like Eldritch. You just have way too much dead cards against those decks. Maybe post side deck it'll be better. Barrage Blast is an insane versus back row decks. But at the end of the day, this is the best deck after Pendulum. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you guys got this far to check out the beautiful Celine Playmax. Because they're going to sell out fast. There's only five left. They've been on the site for a while. They're for a limited price of only $39.99. So it's a $10 off for a cloth playmat. Get yours ASAP. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah,